The human remains found here will be taken in for a full autopsy tomorrow. Police say it's only after that they will be able to tell gender and age and what happens next with the investigation. Go live to CTV's Brandon Rowe, who was just back from Collingwood, one of the hardest hit areas. Brandon? Jane, residents I spoke with were shocked by today's storm. Some even say they'd never seen anything like this before in Collingwood. While the storm came and went quickly, it left behind extensive damage. Although they're happy to be home and surrounded by family, living quarters are a bit tight at Lydia and Tanya's mom's house. So they began looking for other arrangements and found a company who decided to pay it forward. Their next project is to apply to the on the ball program to get enough tennis balls <laughs> to fit these desks. No talking during a test, Mr. O. So after students finished getting their makeup done and the lines to get your picture taken was empty, there's only one thing left to do. Get down on the dance floor. Tony, the rain is coming down in Penetanguishene, but that won't stop tonight's Halloween fun. Pumpkin Ferno is happening, rain or shine, and I'm joined now by Gary Molner from Discovery Harbor. And, and Gary, for people who haven't been to this event before, what's it all about? Because you look at this artwork and you can and you can tell you guys are taking carving to a whole new level. Exactly. What it is. It was a call no son ever wants to take. We were called by her PSW this morning, and PSW phoned the police. This is so disturbing. This is so disturbing. Barry police were called to this home on Sunnydale Road at about 4.30 this morning. Someone had broken in. The victim, 97-year-old Jean Knox, who has polio and lives alone. She could only watch and listen as her home was ransacked by intruders. Well, my mother's house is absolutely trash. You know, she can't stay here. It's, it's a total invasion. It's awful. The intruders got into the home through a back door in the middle of the night. The elderly woman was aware people were in her home, but is bedridden, so she was unable to call police. It is uh, one of the worst that I've seen in a long time. There is virtually not a room inside the residence that is untouched. Thankfully, Jean wasn't hurt during the break and enter. Police haven't said what, if anything, was stolen. Their focus is determining who and how many people were involved. So we have our members from our forensic ident team here that are going to be conducting an investigation inside the residence that will help determine details such as that. Family and neighbors fear these intruders will strike again. If somebody is targeting my mom, they're targeting other uh, elderly people. It obviously makes me feel uncomfortable. You know, you wouldn't want some, something like this to occur to a loved one. Jean has lived here for 67 years. The incident has left her shaken, but hasn't broken her spirit. Mom is doing remarkably well. She is a very resilient person. Well, really very brave going what she's gone through. Many of the best superheroes have a solid team around them. None compare to the super team supporting an eight-year-old in his fight with cancer. People are great. People are caring and I, I just don't believe how much people have loved my grandson. They just are so giving. Hundreds of students, staff and community members were at Baxter Central Public School today. They were supporting Aaron LaMarche, who's battling brain cancer. Aaron is our superhero um, and Aaron loves superheroes. Um, yesterday, Aaron was so much full of energy and excited for today. He came dressed as a superhero yesterday as well. It was his perfect day. What started as a small school event grew into something much bigger. Members of Simcoe County's emergency service departments heard about the March for Aaron. This is what happens when you send one email to emergency services. Tell them there's a little guy with cancer and they're doing a superhero walk. We just thought he might like some live superheroes, so we all came out. Money raised today goes towards medical expenses to help out the family. Aaron was a bit shy from all the attention he was getting, but his best friend Cole was right by his side. He was happy to see all the support for his buddy. Doing a good thing and the right thing. Behind that mask is the real hero, a young boy battling his toughest foe, but doing it bravely. He's a fighter. He's doing very well right now, very well. We couldn't ask for more. Aaron's family and friends were overwhelmed by the support shown by the community on such short notice. They believe the walk raised around $4,000. Brandon Rose, CTV News, ESSA.